Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are in Guangzhou, China, and let me, t over here, and then what we're gonna be doing is eating a lot of fun food, we're going on a crazy food adventure, and we're gonna have yummy food, and crazy food, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's check it out. I mean, no, Trevor says that. No, check, we're not checking it out. Let's go see things. That's my phrase, let's go see things. Guangzhou marks my first foodie mission into China. I sampled a ton of tasty treats that continuously blew my mind. Over my six video series, you'll see some behind the scenes dim sum action. Can I get a tall hat like that? Is it okay that I don't have a hat? Watch me try to catch my own lunch. What are you gonna do? I'm closing in. <laughs> They're a little faster than I expected. This is some uneven terrain. They have a leg up on me. They have a chicken leg up on me right now. We'll come across some not so typical menu items. Oh. It's like it doesn't want to be held. And find out why I got sent to the hospital. Oh, Jesus. They're lighting it on fire. Did you see that? So get ready to beat your meat to this food exploring extravaganza, starting with metropolitan Guangzhou itself, where I've stumbled upon some next level lunch prep. Follow me. Oh, I think I found some food. Oh my God, look at this. Five giant tanks and they're cooking. Let's see what they're cooking. Look at this. Wow. I've never seen anything like this on this massive of a scale. Okay, this is called a suckling pig. So what that means, suckling, is uh, this has never eaten any solid food. It's still been like, uh, you know, living off its mom, like I did up until three years ago. These are some giant roasters. In here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight piglets. There's a giant burning coal in the middle of the pot. Kind of like that clay pot duck that I had, except on a bigger scale. Watch this, watch this. Tayaula. Hey! <laughs> That's my new catchphrase, everyone. Tai haula. There's just dozens of these things. A huge event is going on here. Someone told me they're feeding over 800 people, and this is how you cook for 800 people. They're just pulling it out, putting it on the rack to cool down, and then there's a chopping area right over here, and all this just right on the street. Welcome to the chopping station. This guy. He's got moves. All right, it looks pretty straightforward. You chop it in half, you chop it down the middle. We've all seen the lechon in the Philippines. It's kind of like a mini lechon. Oh, 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 oh thank you, thank you. She, 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 she. Look at this. Can you get a close up? It's really interesting, because there's not a lot of meat on here. I don't know, it seems like it's mainly about the skin, at least for this uh, piece he gave me. I'm gonna try this meat first. That is like buttery, soft, full of flavor. Oh my God, that is amazing. And then some of this skin. This is ridiculous. So crunchy. And because it's a young pig, it's really thin and crunchy. That is to die for. These are the most gigantic walks I've ever seen. These little cylinders are filled halfway with coal. We've got a mechanical fan here helping to stoke the flame and you can just see a huge fire coming out of it. Hey, hey, hey. ni hao. It looks like they're just kind of finishing up for the day. Oh, giant walk filled with oil and five ducks. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a duck, okay? It could be a platypus but probably a duck. This whole street here smells delicious. They've got the chicken all plated up, tons of platters. Um, of course, the head is still on the plate, very important. Oh my God, these are gigantic bins of shrimp. Okay, I've seen a lot of crazy things in my life, but I don't know who would eat this. Here, of course, we have a giant shelf of, of I think it's beef short rib. Yeah. Ah, thank you, thank you. I'm blending in, I'm blending in. They hardly can tell that I'm a foreigner. You can see dozens of people cooking in an effort to make this gigantic lunch. Everything has to come together at the same time for 800 people. That's no easy feat. He's gonna offer me a piece. He says very good. For me? Ah, shay shay. Put some sauce on it. I don't know. Do I dip it in? Dip it? Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Whoa! That is good. Wow, it almost tastes like brisket, but it's it's very savory, a little bit sweet, and the perfect partner to this beef. Wow, amazing. I've never seen anything like this, cooking lunch for 800 people. Uh, actually, our friend brought us here. Uh, I wasn't just a stranger crashing some people's event. He asked kindly if I could try some of the food, but wow, amazing. We're gonna go stumble around Guangzhou a little more and see what else we can find.
Right now we're on this huge walking street area called Beijing Road. As far as I can see, there's food stalls all over the place. On this street, there's at least like six different organ stalls. It's all about the organs. Oh, intestines. Can I have some intestine? Okay, we've got some stomach here. Oh, she is like Edward Scissorhands over here. Wow, so here they have pig feet, but they're like black. Can I have one pig foot? I've had a uh, falao in Vietnam, and that was really lovely. But here we got straight up pig intestines and pig stomach. Hi, how you doing? Do you want to try some? Okay, come over here. Hi. Hi. Come closer, guy. What's your name? Rosie. Huh? Rosie. Rosie, where are you from? I'm from here. You're from here? Yeah, where are uh, you from? I'm from Minnesota. So I'm about to try this food. I'm a little bit afraid mm -hmm. because it smells a little bit like um, a farm. You grab a stick. <laughs> You scoop up some intestine. I'm gonna tell you what I think, and then you can tell me what you think. Is this something you've had before? Yeah. Cheers, let's try it out. Okay. Oh, so many, I'm going through so many emotions right now. A little chewy in a, in a way that where it's like hard to get through. It's a bit gamey. Do you like it? Yeah, it's okay. I know what that means. That means not a fan. Intestines are tricky because I like intestines, but they have to be prepared like really well. Here's some stomach. Do you want to try some stomach with me? I'm good. It's a big moment. Are you nervous about the camera? Literally dozens of people will see this video. Oh. Cheers. Take care. That was good. That was not planned out. We had a little cameo uh, from our friend on the side. And what she told me is that this is her favorite food right here, the stomach. Although she didn't want to try it with me. So hopefully well, it couldn't be because of me. It must. So we're gonna try some stomach. Okay, I like the stomach a lot more. Good texture, a little smoky. But look, it's not about either of those. It's about this black pig's foot. Do you know why this is black? Oh, geez. Are you my sidekick on this show or not? You don't know anything. I'm just kidding. So here we have an egg. It's really nice. What is going on in here? Tastes like it's in some kind of intense balsamic vinegar. Ooh, that is the most intense egg I've ever had. We've got the black Bigfoot here. It is almost like some kind of insane balsamic vinegar. It is so intense. Oh, the black pig's foot. The texture of the pig's foot, awesome. A little chewy, very fatty. I'm a big fan. All right, I'm gonna clean up and we're gonna go find some more food. We're in China. Well, look at this, we found the duck store. Really, honestly, they have every duck thing that you've never seen before. Did you know that people eat duck feet? Because I didn't know people ate duck feet. They have duck tongue and they have duck heads. Here's what I love, they don't just have one kind of duck head. They have two duck heads. They flavored a duck head in two different ways, okay? Can I have a, a dark duck head? duck tongue. We're getting a veritable duck feast right now. These are very dark feet, and these are just brown feet. Um, I'm gonna go with brown flavored. Oh yeah, that looks nice. What's great about eating duck feet is there's webbing between the toes, so you can eat that part too. Three bucks, three dollars for all of that. Actually, there's a great creepy alley back here, and that's where we're gonna eat this. Uh, once you get your duck parts, you got to duck into a back alley to eat them. I'm going to save the head for dessert. And first, I'm jumping right into something that I know I like. Here we have our duck liver. Let's give that a shot. Pleasant. Mmm, that's actually really good. A little spicy. I like it a lot. Round two. I've never had duck's feet. I've had plenty of chicken feet, and um, yeah, I bet some of you didn't know that that, that was a thing, right? I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> All right, you gotta spread the toes. You just gotta spread the toes, and you gotta get in there with the webbing. All right. I got a toenail in there. Ankle, ankle meat, not a lot of meat on there. This is great uh, for a, a pet. Here we've got a duck tongue. Have you ever wanted to make out with a duck? but thought the bill would get in the way. Similar consistency to the liver, a little chewy. They all have a similar tasting spice. That one is actually pretty <laughs> spicy. Like the duck that's blowing fire, that's how I feel right now. It's fresh, it's nice, and a good appetizer for our main course, the duck head. There's gotta be side, like cheek meat of the duck. All right. 
right? Okay. All the meat here, I'm not, I'm really not sure about the preparation, guys. I failed the duck class in food college. I think under the jaw, there's a bunch more meat. This is like the trachea or something. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it right. Every part tastes good. You can get a little bit of trachea, a little bit of cheek, maybe even an eyeball. It's all gonna taste spicy as fuck, but, <coughs> but it's good. Ni hao, hello. Where are you, oh. No, I want the, okay. Um, <laughs> it's going well so far. I don't know how to order. All I know is that I just saw some fried noodles and it looks really amazing. Hi, hi, can I, no? Don't you, don't you, you work here though. Oh, him, him, okay. Hi, hi, can I have one, one? Same, same, like this, uh, like this, this one for me. Yeah. Okay, good, I think we got it. Look, sometimes if you don't always know all the words you need, the sign language can go a long way. Just point to someone else's food, point to yourself, look hungry and happy, and then usually they'll figure it out, right? Right now he's making mine, he just put in some oil. So he put in an egg, some mixed vegetables, some spring beans, a little bit of white noodle. Oh, he's gonna fry the heck out of that. I think the last step, he's gonna put in some soy sauce right here. Yes, it's gonna turn it all a beautiful golden brown. Looks absolutely stunning. Oh my God. Shishi. Already looking at this food, it brings me back. We can all remember being young and Chinese. Fresh out of the wok, fried noodles. Let's try it out. Yo. That is legitimate. I've had fried noodles in little, you know, American Chinese food places, but I've never had anything like this. It, it looks amazing, smells amazing, and, um, you know, it tastes uh, amazing as well. Mmm. It's noodling. It's got a good amount of salt from the soy sauce. Uh, you just can't go wrong with a dish like this. So maybe next time, when you're all good with the intestines and filled to the brim with intestines, get some fried noodles, okay? Last stop for today, Ni hao. It's fruit with a candy glaze, I believe. Oh, thank you, Shay Shay. After a day full of feet, organs, and some yummy fried noodles, it's time to balance everything out with a little bit of fruit on a stick that's been candied and so forth. Wow, so here it is. Is that a tomato? Okay, there might be a tomato on there too. It's all been glazed. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi. I'll keep shooting. Hi, how are you? You're good? Oh, nice to meet you. Do you like this one? Uh, yes. Haosuma? Haosuma? Ah, cool. That's all I know in uh, Cantonese. Do you, you uh, are you hungry? Huh? Here, I got you one. And we'll try it together. Ready? One, two, three. That's really good. <laughs> Yummy? Haosuma? <laughs> mmm. You can have that. Mmm. My gift, yeah, Shay Shay. People are so friendly here. You can just grab someone off the street, give them some candy. Now let me tell you, that tomato was a little unusual because it was covered in a hard shell of candy. I've never experienced anything like that before. But they start you off with the tomato. I think it's so you're like, well, I started with the tomato, anything from here is gonna be up from that, right? Because next is a kiwi. I know that's gonna be good, but a tomato. These are covered with really like a hard candy coat. Let's try the kiwi one without um, piercing my throat. Nailed it. I think the tomato works well because it doesn't emit a lot of moisture. The, the kiwi one is a little soft, I think because uh, it's, it's a very moist fruit. It's not gonna stay hard and candied. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then leave a comment about how you subscribed and then like again after that. And then like every video and then watch every video that I have on all of your devices 10 times, please. That's not too much to ask. We'll see you next time. A piece.